Okay, so in this video, we are gonna cover the domain integration, all right? So, uh, let's go to the domains, all right? So you can add your domains so that your project, your landing pages do not, you know, stay on, let's say, dot .flexifunnels.com. I mean, it's good that you can, you know, keep them over there, dot .flexifunnels.com, and it will still open with the, you know, uh, with the kind of speed that we provide you and all the things but if you want to use your domain or your client domain for example so you can add that over here right so I'm gonna show you how to add the domain at the same time I will show you the difference between uh, the page opening in your subdomain the account flexifunnel subdomain versus the domain okay so uh, let's click on add new domain first okay now so I have multiple domains, for example, let's say sorabhanagar.com, all right? So I wanna do the CNAME mapping, okay? So we are going to be doing CNAME mapping over here. So we will be doing something like, let's say, um, let's say sbu.sorabhanagar.com, all right? At the same time, I want to go inside my DNS in Cloudflare, okay? And I want to see, okay, I have something like SBU. Maybe, um, uh, you know, let's let's do something like, let's say XYZ. All right, that's good enough. Okay, so XYZ.sorabhanagar.com. Okay, so that is one domain that I'm adding. All right. Next thing is, I want to show you multiple domains. Okay, so let's say I want to add another domain, which is, let's say, XYZ. Dot n all right and maybe you know I want to show you at multiple places so maybe sblive.xyz okay let's pick one of these domains all right and maybe same xyz.sblive.xyz okay so this is the domain name and so uh, this XYZ that is in front of everything is the subdomain, okay? So you can put anything over there. You can put your name, saurabh.saurabhatnagar.in or anything, www.saurabhatnagar.com or anything you can put over there, all right? So this is the first part. Now the second thing is that, you, you know, so this, this domain is on GoDaddy. So how to do it on GoDaddy? So when you are into products, you need to go into the DNS settings, all right? So this is the GoDaddy account, okay? So I wanna show you at multiple places so that you are all clear about it. And over here, you need to add a CNAME record. So you will you will be able to see that there are multiple records. So uh, just one thing that you need to keep in mind that if you have purchased the domain from GoDaddy or from any other place, for example, and if it is not hosted anywhere, in that case, the DNS settings, you know, you will find them inside the website or the domain registrar from where you purchase the domain. So for example, in my case, it is GoDaddy, right? So I'm gonna, uh, you know, click over here and I want to add a CNAME record, okay? So this is something which is important. So uh, the domain that I'm trying to add is xyz.sblive.xyz, right? So uh, my host is going to be xyz the one that is in the front okay and it should be pointing to target dot flexifunnels.com so let's copy that and let's click on save all right so if you will see that a new subdomain has been added so our job is done with respect to this domain okay so let's do it for other domains also let's talk about saurabhatnagar.n so this saurabhatnagar.n domain is hosted on wpx hosting okay so i have been using this hosting for quite some time so you know and uh, so i will be pushing it over here so i need to go into the edit dns settings and i want to select my domain which is sorabhatnagar.n which is hosted over here all right and now i what i want to do is again add a new record so it's going to be cname uh host is going to be xyz value is equal to target.flexifunnels.com and once again save record all right so this is done um same thing with sorabhatnagar.com so this is somewhere you know I'm, i have been using uh, cloudflare for it 
So if you are using Cloudflare, so again, you need to go to the DNS settings, all right, of your domain. Again, add record. Um, this is going to be, no. Make sure that it is CNAME, right? XYZ, why? Because we have xyz.sarapatanga.com, right? So XYZ, target again, target.flexifunnels.com and make sure that it is DNS only, okay? It is not proxied when it comes to Cloudflare. All right, and you click on save. So once again, this is done. All right, so uh, now I can come back to my FlexiFunnels account and what I can do is I can click on, you know, click to verify. If you will see that this is done. Let's talk about sadapranaga.in, click to verify. Once again, this is done. And let's click on xyz.sawadapatnagar.com. Once again, this is done. So if you will follow the process, right, this is something which is a very easy thing to do, right? We, we just verified three domains right in front of you. And uh, the thing is that uh, whatever domain registrar you are using or whatever hosting you are using in which your you know domain is already pointed, all that you need to do is you need to be going into the DNS settings of that particular domain register or that hosting and you know you just need to add the records that's it that's it all right now this is not done yet because the domain needs to be connected with a particular project okay because we don't know that for which particular landing page you want to use which particular domain so that is something that you need to do right so let's say if you are creating a new project for example, let's say I want to create a custom funnel and let's say my funnel is, you know, let's say demo and I click on create project. Okay, so uh, select a blank template, for example, right, click on edit page. Okay, let's add a new section, all right, a column and maybe a headline. Okay, so let's let's create a dummy page, for example. Okay, let's say a video, which is followed by a button, right? So we have a dummy page and let's click on publish, all right. Okay, after you have clicked on publish, you can click on published URL right over here where you can go ahead and have a look at the page. Okay, I just refreshed it. Uh, maybe it did not come in the first attempt. So I will click on publish once again. And then I will click on the published URL once again and maybe hard refresh it one more time. All right. So if you will see the page has come, right? Now, here's the thing. Let's go back to pages, right? Let's come out of this uh, editor. Now, this is something that you need to understand that this page is hosted on sbu.flexifunnels.com, which was your account subdomain, right? Do you remember? You know, if you go to the account settings, so in the account settings, I had added SBU as the account subdomain. So all the pages that you are going to create in FlexiFunnels are by default going to be on SBU.FlexiFunnels.com. Now, it can be anything in your case. It can be Saurabh.FlexiFunnels.com. It can be anything XYZ, right? So all the pages that you are going to create is going to be hosted on this particular, you know, domain sbu.flexifunnels.com. However, if you want to use your own domain for, let's say for this particular project. So what you need to do is you need to go to the project settings. All right. General settings. And then over here, you can select any domain that you have already connected. All right. For example, Let's say xyz.sawadapatnagar.com is something that I want to use for this particular, you know, project. 
and uh, let's say I want to click on page URL all right okay let me click on edit page uh, this did not redirect to sawadabhatnagar.com by default so let's go to published URL over here right and you will see that this page is now loading on xyz.sawadabhatnagar.com and the URL is the same right whatever so we can customize the URL I will cover that in the project settings but here's the thing that this same page is now no longer on the uh, FlexiFunnels domain but now it is on the sawadabhatnagar.com domain right so I hope that this is clear that uh, by default the pages that you are gonna create and if that project is not added for uh, you know under any particular domain so by default the pages that you will create will be uh, under dot flexifunnels.com but the moment you add it to a project right so the same pages are going to be loading on your particular domain that you have selected right it, it can be anything it can be yoga.sawadabhatnagar.com it can be anything right so if you will see that both of these are the same pages right just that the only difference is that in this case we do not have flexifunnels branding over here right so I hope this is clear and I'm going to see you in the next video.